Go on, your question. Show us, show us in my Christianity, in the, the books, honestly, in the Word of God, how Hone, they taught honestly, Christians to pray. Sorry? Oh, general question. Sorry, my friend. Genuine how question. How are you guided to pray? I will answer that very question. Fair questions deserve we fair answers. Loophole, right? I'm not giving you a loophole. I'm just asking a genuine question. That is totally fine. That is totally fine. Too much Coca-Cola. Yes. Too much Coca-Cola. Yes. Yes. No, no. Thank you very much. Notice, guys. Right? So, ladies and gentlemen, you heard the criteria. The criteria was, show me in the Bible where Jesus taught us how to pray. So I'm, I'm going to show you where in the Bible it teaches she Christians how to pray and then I'm going to ask Muslims to do the same. So, so, no, you didn't say that. That wasn't the original question. You're changing the criteria. You're changing the criteria. They are against the Jesus and they call the him name. Only and some Jews. I, I know, no, well, they want Only to be some Jews. You're wrong about that. Because you have to consider other Jews. Right. You took so in answer to your question, in Matthew chapter 6, don't, don't feed the trolls, guys. These people, he only comes to interrupt my conversations because if he tries to do a talk somewhere else, no one will listen to him. But when you listen to him, you encourage him to behave like a troll. So please, just ignore him. Right, so in answer to your question, right, in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus says, and when you are praying, do not use meaningless repetition as the Gentiles do, for they suppose that they will be heard for their many words. So do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask. Pray then in this way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now. Right, go on. So which Bible is this? Right. No, no, let's change over. So let's, let's, let's. Show me the Bible. So I've, I've shown him his question, but now he wants to change the criteria. So let me ask the, answer the question. No, no, no. Get, fair, get question. Right. fair question. Fair question. Okay, right. fine. Fair question. Sub question. Fair sub question. Fair answer. Is the Gospel of Matthew the original Gospel of the Church? Yes, it is. Why is it the original Gospel of the Church? Because that's the one the Church canonized and ascribed its authority to. So that's the one the Church uses as an authority. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just ignore him, bro. Just ignore him. If you ignore the troll, he tends to go away. He gets bored. Right? So, ladies and gentlemen, let me, let me point out this. Muslims claim that this Bible has been changed from some kind of Islamic original. Right? But the reality is, Muslims have zero evidence that there ever was an Islamic original. If Muslims are going to claim that the Bible has been changed from an Islamic original, then they must provide the evidence that such an Islamic original ever existed in the first place. Now, I don't know if you're a Muslim. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Are you a Muslim, sir? I'm asking you now, are you a Muslim? I'm a Muslim. Right. Can you show me any evidence at all? I'm asking you a question. I'm not the speaker. You're the I'm asking you a question. I'm the student. You're, you're the lecturer. I, I, right. Well, let, I, don't ask me questions. Okay. So let I'm me make a statement then. All right. Know. Fine. I'm going to make right? a statement. Fine. Really I'm going to make a statement okay. because as you've just said, right, yeah. I am the teacher. Yes. You are the student. At this moment. Let me tell you now, there is zero evidence 
for there ever being a book called the Injil. No evidence at all. It's a totally unsubstantiated claim from the 7th century made up by Muhammad and the Muslims have zero evidence of its existence. Not a jot, not a word, not a fragment, not a letter, not a manuscript anywhere in seven centuries of history. Your turn. What's your next question? Okay.